Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Lisa Richardson. She is in for Jessa Jeremiah for the weekend warm up. Yes, what a fun thing to get to fill in for, right? Absolutely, Talk. all the fun stuff that's going on. Yes, there's always something exciting in our area. Spring yeah. is definitely one of those times. And biggest thing happening in our area, little over the uh, bridge over to Savannah, but the St. Patrick's Day celebration right. tomorrow. Right. Big, big celebration. I mean, that is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the second largest parade in the country. Uh, I think so, you might be right. Yeah. And having been to it before for uh, many years, it's an amazing parade. There are uh, bands and units from all over the country. Uh, it winds, of course, through the beautiful historic squares, downtown Savannah. It's right. great for families. It starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. And then, of course, you can spend the rest of the day there and just enjoy the area. I know, down there on the river walk and everything. Great time. Great yeah, time. for sure. Yes. And, and of course, we've already heard from Joe Kane today about Wing Fest, but we can't not mention it no, because we can't. it's going on this weekend. It is over a quarter of a century. Yeah. Can you believe that? No. I remember going to it a lot of years ago. Yeah. So I think we're in the 27th year. A big thing on the island is now at Low Country Celebration Park right. off of Pope Avenue. It runs, starts at 11 o'clock. And you can buy your individual tickets. And of course, don't forget, there's the wing contest. Right, got to vote for your favorite You got to vote, You're right. So yes. it's fun, you know, interactive. You can get involved, vote for your favorite wing restaurant. Amateurs are also right. welcome to participate. Right, right. And there's there's judges, but then there's people's choice. So you got to have your voice there, right? Yes, ab yeah, absolutely. For sure. And something else that's exciting, which obviously is uh, a little bit of a harbinger of the season, you know, getting into summer and spring, Defusky Island. Live yes. music is back on Saturdays. It is. Over at Freeport Marina, it's just a short little, you know, boat ride over from Bluffton or from anywhere on the island. And right there at the marina, they've enlarged that, are that marina in the last year or two, so it can accommodate dozens and dozens of boats now. Just yeah. walk up the ramp, and there's going to be bands all afternoon, and that'll be going on most every Saturday from now on. Right, and it really is a good time. And yeah. It's so much fun to see Defusky. And yeah. you know what, though? You said take a boat or a ferry over to Defusky. That reminded me that we forgot to mention mm -hmm. about the parade in Savannah. You can take the Vagabond Cruise from here. You can, and I'm glad you remembered because I did <laughs> forget that, too. That's another fun way to not have to fight the traffic and parking exactly. over in Savannah. Perfect. Especially parking. Definitely. Parking in Savannah is never fun, <laughs> and especially tomorrow is not, no, not, not going to be a all. good time. So, all right, so if we don't want to go to a festival, and we're, but we kind of want to, you know, maybe get some exercise in. Yes. We've got something annual that, that always happens in Beaufort. Mm -hmm. There's awesome. always a race, in, isn't there? Seem to be always a big race. Something. Well, this one is no exception. It is the Beaufort Annual Twilight Run through the Habersham Park. But this year, they're uh, advertising that there's some world-class athletes, marathon runners going to be there. But it's not just for the competitive part. It's also for families. They can do a 5K walk. So you've got that and you've got all the way for uh, folks that are com running companies that are competing for um, that and even people that are Olympic athletes. So wow. really neat. Yeah. If, yeah. We, from stem to stern, you got it all. Exactly. We, got, we got kids and strollers and we got Olympians. You do. <laughs> and they're expecting... 2,600 participants, so that gives wow, you a good that idea. Is a big race. Yeah, and they also highlighting that it's a beautiful uh, ride, run, walk, whatever you want to do through the, of course, low country, beautiful area yeah. to the trees, through the marsh. So right. again, any way you can get out and enjoy our beautiful area. Absolutely, for sure. And uh, one of the biggies is getting started, and that's the Hilton Head Wine and Food Festival. Yeah, it starts this weekend. Uh, it does run through the 25th, and the best thing to do to look at particular events is to go on their website, which is hiltonheadwineandfood.com. But one thing to point out at the Westin on sun Sunday, yes, March 19th, is their sort of their kickoff. Now, the whole festival is presented by Publix. We right. want to give them a shout yeah, out. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, one thing I didn't know learning is a lot of these events, some of the wine auctions, actually benefit scholarship funds. Oh, that's nice. For students at USCB and TCL. Okay. I'm probably going to guess the hospitality programs there. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah, so it has a good cause as well. Yeah, so you're going to sip some wine for a good cause. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you can get out and run, sip some wine, go to a parade, I mean, in what this else area, do you right? need this weekend, right? Exactly. But that is sure. a that is a really good food uh, a festival, and as you mentioned, there are so many events attached to yes. it that we don't have time to talk about all of them. No. But that mm -hmm. website has it all listed out. Yes, so. some need tickets, some do not. So you check them all out yeah. individually. And of course, we always like to mention it's beautiful. It's spring. Just get out and about outside somewhere. I know it's my favorite time of year here. Yeah, One for of sure. Them. Spring and fall. Yeah, it gets a little hot in the summer, but <laughs> who can complain about that when we don't have any snow? 
Amen to that. Right? Mm -hmm. Thanks so yes. much, Lisa, Thanks, for being Betsy. here. Thanks to everybody on the show today for their insights and contributions. Thanks to SM Bradford Company and Currents, my wardrobe sponsor for today's look. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.